du Liebe und Scheiße, Frau und Mädchen. Was ist los? Um, <laughs> I got a uh, buzzard club picked camera here. The buzzard that picked it was me. Um, I tell you something I've never seen. You see this little thing back here? It's called your shutter mech. I made videos showing you how fragile these shutter blades are. Do you see that? It's kind of like, it's even more fragile than your shower curtain, your fabric shower curtain. Now, close your eyes, because this is going to be like X-rated here. X-rated. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, my God. You just ripped out a shutter blade. Yeah, okay. Let's let's learn something here, and then I'll tell you what I've never seen before. Oh, my God. That's like thinner than a sheet of paper. You know, it doesn't matter if your camera is $500 or $5,000. Oh, my God. This is the crap that's in there. It's uh, Teflon-coated Kevlar. I love Kevlar. Mmm, Kevlar. Uh, you know one thing I've never seen in 20 years, and I've had more lenses pass through my hands than God! You know it. Even if you hate me, you gotta admit, it's like, yeah, been a lot of lenses passed through your hands. Um, 95% of them have been used. <laughs> I have never seen, and it means someone else owned it, right? Yeah, yeah. Never seen, and I you, you used to work several camera stores. People bring in their camera, like I got a problem. You you take the lens off and you look at the back. Of the, it looked like a baby's dirty diaper on the back of that lens mount, and there's like fuzz bunnies lingering. Yeah, there are. And, it's like, well, and I, you know I can't get in there. You don't want to blow the dust in anymore. Well, there's a little trick to that. You can take a pencil and you can stick some uh, duct tape inside out. Okay, if there's like any fuzz bunnies, not where you're touching the glass, the rear element, okay? Just roll it in there, kind of like, you know, those lint rollers, basically, is what you're doing to get the fuzz bunnies out. Take a, a damp Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and clean the butt off of uh, your lens. I've never, ever, ever seen... Let me pluck out another shutter blade here. Another shutter blade, yeah. It's kind of hard to... Oh, I'll eventually get here. Yeah, shutter blade. Mm -hmm. Never seen a clean lens. Never. Look at that. Oh my god. Let's pluck out another shutter blade. It's like plucking eyebrows, right? Oh. Yeah, there we go. I got me one. <laughs> That's a big one. These make really good uh, teeth picks, too. That's so gross. That's so gross, isn't it? <laughs> He's crazy. He's picking his teeth with a shutter blade. Oh my god. Never seen a clean lens. You know when they say like a shutter mechanism is rated for like 200,000 clicks or 300,000 clicks or something like that, you know? Obviously, there is a mechanism as part of the shutter assembly. Obviously, those parts can fail. What really causes the shutter mechs to fail was like, why? You know, like, I had a Nikon D3 and the shutter mech failed at 500,000, but Joe Blow... You know, he takes immaculate care of his equipment. His shutter mechanism lasted to like 800,000 clicks. I don't get it. What happens is, is these shutter blades rub up against each other uh, really fast. You know, you know how fast they, yeah. That's why they're Teflon coated too. I don't know, Teflon, Teflon might be slightly toxic. You know, I shouldn't do that on a live video. That's, that's no good, right? Anyway, what happens is that there is uh, particles that go from your lens Okay, to the back, when that mirror flops up and down, crap falls into the back. It's like, well, I can clean my sensor. You're right, you can. But what happens is, is that those little dust particles, they get between these shutter blades, and when they're moving insanely, you know how like a tire gets out of balance? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Like in a race car, a professional race car, it like spells disaster if there is a tire out of balance. This is the same thing as a tire. Well, it's not a tire. It's a shutter blade. They're moving very fast up against each other like this. And if a little piece of debris gets between those blades, what happens is, is it throws it when they're moving insanely fast. It throws one of the blades and it kinks it. And that causes an angular momentum in the arm that actually is constantly doing this number. And when you have little tiny, it's like, well, you can't even see them, basically. Sometimes you can. You can look in the back of someone's eye. Like, oh, my God, it's dirty. It's like, yeah, I can't figure why my shutter mechanism failed, like, a lot earlier than Joe's did. 
That's the reason. That's actually the reason for 80% of uh, shutter mechanism failure. You could take that to the bank, and you're not going to hear this from anybody. You won't read it in a book. You won't read it in a website. It's undeniable. It's irrefutable. Homie that's, you know, fixes cameras. You know, you know I've had more lenses through my hand than God. You know I have. I have never seen a used lens, maybe one, thousands and thousands of lenses. I've never seen a lens that someone else owned that was like really clean on its butt, meaning the mount and the rear L. Never seen it. Never. Also, too, the rear lens cap, it's dirty. People like stick them in their pockets and crap. And then what happens is the, the dirt migrates from the inside of the rear cap to the back of the lens, and you mount the lens on, and those little dust particles fall in here. You know what falls in here? Hello! Wait, this is, this will be really, someone needs to make a meme out of this crap. Wait, wait, you ready for a meme? Uh, <laughs> let's take my time. <laughs> Too much coffee. <laughs> Dust falls into the back here and it gets between your shutter blades and it causes <sighs> PF, premature failure. These would make really good dental picks. <laughs> if someone out there is going, ew, that's gross. You're like, you're picking your teeth with Teflon coated Kevlar, but they're so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm being a little bit goofy, but this video is dead serious. It's good to make people laugh. Someone out there, especially the Germans, would be like, I don't like this video. I do not like your sense of humor. Someone else will laugh. They'll go, oh, that was so funny. And someone else will go, that was not funny at all. You can't please everybody. In my case, you can't please most people, huh? So, anyway. That's something to consider. If you'd like your camera to last a little bit longer, clean the butt. Clean the diaper, meaning the rear lens cap, of your lenses. And clean the rear mount. And get the dust bunnies out of the rear of your lenses. Because that crap falls in here. Here. Right here. You know? You see this little hole where your lens mounts right here? Hello! La 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 la. It falls in there. And your shutter blades are moving very fast and a little piece of dust. You see how fragile these are, right? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. You heard it here. This is not hearsay or conjecture. It's a hardcore fact. But you won't read about this anywhere because most people don't know this crap. I, virtually nobody knows this crap. If you actually call up a camera repair place, it's like, I saw this dude. He's a fat tattooed dude on YouTube. I want to tell you what he said. Like, is, is what he said right? I go, yeah, he's right. He's right. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm right. Okay? So call a repair place up and ask them what I said in this video if you don't take my word for it. They'll go, yep, yep, fat, fat tattooed boy's right. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, wait a minute, wait, wait, look for it, look, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Never gonna fix that camera now. If you like this video, you can drop a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you uh, happy, okay? Thank you so much. Hasta luego, dos vidanya, uvidimsa, paka ese.